Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your February 10 today 11. This is your dailies. Before we start, just a brief announcement. The cutoff date for the for you to get the Gamma box is the 10th because we set it during the sun shift 16 or 17. Okay, so if you want to make it that day, the 10th is the last day, okay, for you guys to subscribe. And then you get to the next batch. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's good. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for um, my Aquarian. Let me see if I'm an Aquarian today. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Here we go, here we go, Aquarian. Knave of Pentacles. Ooh, this hasn't appeared. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. How is this person doing? Let me see. Um, someone here wants to. I feel manifest the relationship. They're saying I'm ready. Okay. Oh, okay. Then I'm not an aqua today. This is because <laughs> someone is saying here. It says like I'm ready. Okay. 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 Yeah, you'll be ready. That's good. <laughs> That's good, you're ready. Okay, with the navel. That's a navel pen. Because you see how the energy there, I feel like it can be an earth sign that you're connecting with. It can be a Capricorn, because that's a previous energy. If we're just picking it up, it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to be in a commitment. I'm ready for a relationship. Okay. They're, because I feel like they're, they're trying to, you know, put all things together before they commit. They're trying to arrange your life, this, this, and that. Okay. Let me see here. I feel here, it would be good. I'm not um I'm not good or I haven't done that part of divination. Like if you ever get a chance to get a hold of someone who does pendulum work, you, it will help you. Or if you do that, okay. I feel like mm, pendulum is something here. Um something significant. Okay. Let me see here. Other person, the devil card, and I said Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Hm. Devil card. So you are connecting with someone who is just the previous zodiac. Okay. The next door neighbor. But that is your 12th house. So what's going on there? I'll tell you what. All right. <laughs> and don't worry, it's not a devil anymore because I called it, right? Um, so, meaning, okay, we don't call the devil here. Okay. <laughs> I just know that it's coming. Why? Because as I was discussing with my colleague er earlier, okay, Rahu and Ketu will move already. So we will feel that. People will say, oh my God, the eclipse is coming. I feel it. This is a major eclipse happening. It stands on 18 months on that zodiac. So screw the blood moon, the new moon, the blue moon, or whatever moon, because this is Rahu Ketu. This is the challenge of a life that's coming. Now, aqua rising, aqua moon. It happens in your 12th house. Something will be let go in your 12th house so that you can have. This is your feeling of liberation. Feeling of separation, liberation. If you're trying to separate from something, it will be taken out of you permanently. Okay, this is it. And then it starts you again. Okay, it doesn't go to aqua because it goes in reverse. Now, Raho and Kaito now will go to your 11th. Your dream will manifest as far as letting go of something. You will let go of something major and then something new will come into your life. But this is about your dreams. All your dreams, because you know, Rahu and Rahu and Kato, for me, even though like they're gonna be on um, Gemini and Sagittarius, it will still sit on one. Both of them will sit on that zodiac. Okay? So something happening. That's basically it. <laughs> in your dreams. Okay. Not in your dreams. Your your karma. Okay. Let me see here. Got eight of swords, so they're this is bird box. They're fearing. Okay. They don't know what they don't know what will happen. Um, this person has fear of you being taken away by other people. So they oh well, hello, then I'm aqua today. Okay. <laughs> so they fear is like, well, someone's gonna take the aqua from me, then I need to manifest the relationship. Okay. They they're not insecure. They want you before I I don't know why they think before something happens. Okay. There's nobody in danger. But they just know that something will happen towards you and chances are you might be with someone else already or something like that. Let me see here devil. next to the devil card because this is the possession part. Five of cups. Okay, because they haven't been there with you for you for quite some time. Okay, they were challenged and they know that they have disappointed you and you're not happy there. So now they want to give it to you before this shift of energy. Because five of cups is disappointment. It's like, 
you are not making me happy. Okay, <laughs> that's that one. Because I feel like the devil card over here is like, even the devil is not happy. <laughs> I don't even know that the devil requires happiness. Okay, <laughs> but the devil is not happy. Okay, meaning the 12th house is not happy. How it's ending, it's not happy. How it ended wasn't good because that's your 12th house. Okay, so something could have ended or will end and that needs to be resolved. And they know that they need to resolve it. Okay, someone here is coming back towards you. Okay. I'm seeing the charts. Sorry, I can't show it here. Okay. Under the Eight of Swords. Ah, Temperance coming back to Sanj. I told you. There you have Capricorn, Rahu, and Ketu. Where will it go? Hmm. Gemini Sanj. Can be a younger person that you are, Aqua, or you're the younger person. Someone wants to reconcile the difference. Okay. Someone who wants to work it. They will work it. Trust me. Moving March. Okay. That's the most best time to get a read, I feel, or uh, get your charts done, okay? Uh, not me, not me, okay? Go to someone else, okay? I do can, you know, so much things to do, okay? I'm retired from that. Ha! Thank you, I declared in the universe I'm retired from that. <laughs> Wait a four of swords here. You're disappointed in how it ended and how it never begun, I feel. <laughs> so... We were not even gonna get there. It haven't even started and then it ended. So it's like an open open ended. There's no um there was no definite um you know conclusion to the connection between the two of you. You're just gonna you're just gonna about to start. Okay? <laughs> no matter how long you guys have connected, it hasn't even started. It's just about to start. So if it's a song, we've only just begun. Karen Carpenter, I feel. <laughs> Love her. May she rest in peace. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the girl oracle deck before we go to the extended read. Oh wow! Turn resistance to acceptance. Okay, I feel Aquarian. There's really a commitment. We've seen it in the previous days. It's coming, and I know they're a little bit restrictive. They're all about you, you know. But look at this one. Someone is getting a makeover. Your um, your relationship sector is about to get a makeover. Your dreams is about to get makeover. Okay, look at that one. So do not resist it. Accept the path. This is this is something that's coming. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, don't be scared. It's coming because the temperance is some someone that can be have a soulful connection with you. It's gonna be deep. They're far from you. Distance. Younger. Um, they're scared of losing you. That's why they wanna they wanna. Instead of losing you, might might as well commit. <laughs> oh my golly, my aqua today. Okay, and fire swords, you're just taking a chill pill because it's just like this is you know brace before the impact. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading aqua. Link down there in extended read also for the girl oracle deck. What else? Okay, and then we'll see as this move forward. It's the best time for you to really get your charts done, get a reading from someone. Okay, um, I mean I will try as much as I can. You know that's what's what I do. Um, with regards to reading and getting to the core of the matter. But we'll see next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And this is gonna be. Um, we'll see if it's, it's karmic, soulmate, or if it's gonna be like relationship in extended read. Okay, because this is something that you you have been dreaming. Remember, you're the natural eleven. And K2 and Rahu moves into your level. How significant is that for your life? No, okay. Thank you very much, Aqua. Bye.